We love stitching on unique materials, so when we saw this trend, we just had to try it. All you need is some clothesline, thread, and a sewing machine to make your own rope basket. And yes, you really can machine embroider on it. We'll show you how to choose your rope, which embroidery designs to use, and how to get that rope basket under your needle. Check out the link in the description for a step-by-step -step written tutorial to go with this video so you can follow along at your own pace when you're ready to make your own. When you're planning your rope basket, the first thing you'll want to do is choose your embroidery design. We recommend avoiding designs with denser embroidery like solid fills or satin stitch. On the other hand, if your design is too light, it can disappear into the texture of the rope. Designs like this are a nice happy medium with running stitch details and a few areas of open fill for color. Keep the shape of your design in mind too, since the bottom of our rope basket will be round, we're using a design that fits well in a circular shape. When you're choosing your rope to stitch on, look for rope that's soft and flexible with a loose weave so it will be easy to coil up and embroider. The rope we're using is called Evandale Cotton Clothesline. We'll put a link in the description. You'll want to avoid rope that's too stiff or dense. We also recommend using a size 7511 sharp sewing needle for this project. This needle makes small perforations so it will stitch easily through your rope and keep your designs looking crisp. Using a brand new needle for this project can be a good idea to make sure your needle is as sharp as possible. Set your machine to an eighth inch zigzag stitch to sew your rope together. Match your bobbin to your top thread to keep the stitching looking the same on both sides. We're using a slightly darker thread color so you can see it in the video. Avoid using thread colors that are very different than your rope so it won't show through the embroidery. Okay, let's start building the bottom of our rope basket. Take the end of your rope and wind it into a tight coil like this until your circle is about an inch and a half wide. Hold your coil so the free end of the rope comes up and over to the right clockwise like this. Set the rope coil under the presser foot. Make sure the rope is still coiled clockwise with the free end toward you. This is important because you want your basket to be to the left of the presser foot as it grows. Zigzag straight across the middle of the circle. Make sure that when you stop sewing, the needle is on the right side of the presser foot and is sewing through the outermost rope. You'll want to stop just short of the edge of the circle, just like this. Then lift the presser foot and rotate the circle so the free end is coming toward the front. Now you're ready to start sewing. Slowly stitch around the coil and rotate it as you sew. Keep the area where the coil and the loose end meet centered under the presser foot so the zigzag catches both as you go. Keep sewing until the coil is an inch or two longer than the design you're going to embroider. When you're ready to stop stitching, don't backstitch. Just lift your needle and presser foot and pull your circle off the machine, leaving a long thread tail. Don't cut the rope because you're going to continue building your basket later. Tie the thread in a double knot on the inner edge of the free rope end. Now it's time to mark the placement of the design. Print out a paper template of your design using embroidery software. Cut around the design and place it where you want on your rope circle. Use an air erase pen to mark the center point and the axis lines. Then use a ruler to extend the lines. For this project, we're using a sturdy water-soluble stabilizer. A couple that have worked well for us are Violene and Sulky Ultrasolvy. Coop up your water-soluble stabilizer. Then spray the back of your circle with temporary spray adhesive. Place it onto the stabilizer, lining up the axis marks with the marks on the hoop. Make sure the free edge of the rope is coming out and over to the right. To help keep the rope circle attached to the stabilizer, we're also going to baste it in place. Use a needle and thread to hand sew the edges of the circle to the stabilizer. Before you start, make sure to position the needle directly over the center point you marked on your fabric. Attach the hoop to the embroidery machine and embroider your design. When the design is done stitching, take it off the machine and unhoop the stabilizer. Use a seam ripper to remove the basting stitches. Then cut away the excess water-soluble stabilizer from the back of the embroidery. If you want to make a placemat or a coaster, 
You can finish off your project now. We'll show you how to do that later. If you want to build a 3D basket, it's time to go back to the sewing machine. Put the circle back under the sewing machine so the presser foot is right where you stopped sewing before. Carefully tilt the circle up with your hand. Back stitch a bit, then start sewing with a zigzag stitch like you were before. Keep going until the walls of your basket are as high as you'd like. The more you tilt the base up, the steeper the walls will be. When you're ready to finish off your basket, cut the free edge of the rope about five or six inches long. Then fold under the end of the rope to make a loop. Tuck the end of the rope between the layers like this and pin it in place. Keep sewing to attach the loop to the basket. Make sure the free end gets sewn to both the basket and the outer coil of rope. Backstitch to keep everything in place. Soak your basket to remove the rest of the water-soluble stabilizer. The package should tell you how long you need to do this. We soaked ours for a couple of hours to make sure no stabilizer remained inside the rope. You can even hand wash your basket with a little soap if you like. And that's all there is to it. Once you learn how to make these rope baskets, you won't be able to stop. They make great gifts and you can always use more baskets to organize your home. What will you use your embroidered rope baskets for? Let us know in the comments. To find embroidery designs for rope baskets, along with lots more machine embroidery projects and inspiration, visit us at emblibrary.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great machine embroidery videos.